What's up, everybody? Uh, I woke up this morning and I had a very interesting comment on one of my videos. Uh, one of my subscribers asked me how I grip my PlayStation 4 controller when I play Tekken 7 uh, on a control pad because he was having a struggle with hitting the buttons properly with his thumb. Uh, I realized then it kind of hit me that most of the people that are new to Tekken are probably playing on the PlayStation 4 and they're probably using the PlayStation 4 DualShock for a control pad which is this controller right here because that's the controller that comes with the system. Now if you don't know how to properly hold your PlayStation 4 controller when you're playing Tekken it's going to be extremely difficult to play this game properly and just the fact that this person was actually trying to use his thumb to hit attack buttons was very telling and so it made me want to really make this video just as fast as possible because I imagine at this point uh, a lot of people are actually struggling with this very question. I also thought that I would take the time to talk a little bit about the arcade stick and how I uh, grip that and what is a proper way to sort of manipulate the arcade stick if you're playing an arcade stick uh, to get the most uh, out of your inputs. So. Uh, what I want to do in this video is first of all I want to talk about the uh, control pad right here. So we're going to go into the PlayStation 4 controller. This is the uh, DualShock 4 that comes with the PlayStation 4. And this is pretty much considered to be probably the optimal controller in the world for playing uh, Tekken 7. So if you are playing on control pad right now, don't worry. This is considered to be like one of the best controls in the world for playing Tekken. It is more or less optimal and there is no need for you to switch controllers if you don't want to. But, you need to hold the controller properly if you're going to be able to play Tekken. So, the intuitive way to grip a controller like this, because it has these extensions down here, is to grab it sort of almost like a steering wheel, because that's the way it's designed to be ergonomically. Using your thumbs to manipulate the D-pad and the uh, buttons down here, and using your uh, longer fingers to manipulate the buttons and triggers on top of the controller. This does not work when you're playing Tekken. And the reason for that is Tekken was decided to be an arcade fighting game with a controller that looks like this. And as you can see, if you compare these two controllers, uh, first of all, the buttons are configured. These uh, two buttons here are new, so please focus on the leftmost four buttons for now. Uh, are configured very differently from the buttons right here. As you can see, these are in a sort of cross shape, whereas these uh, buttons are almost aligned uh, in a square, meaning that... Uh, doing an input such as pressing the X and the uh, triangle button at the same time is very different on both of these controllers. It requires you to use your long fingers to stretch across the controller and press like this. And so when you're playing on a uh, DualShock 4 controller and you're trying to use your thumb to press all these buttons, not only is it going to be extremely difficult to reach some of these configurations, some of them are just going to be completely impossible to do. Imagine, for example, that I want to use uh, the one button and the two button, so the square and the triangle button, and press them at the same time using my thumb. My options are either to try and press down with my thumb like this in the middle of both buttons and try and make sure I hit both of them at the same time. This is not only uh, difficult enough to time, but it also usually ends up with um, a sort of a sloppy input where your thumb is going to slide all over the buttons. It has no precision and it is not a good way to manipulate these buttons. The other option that you have is to twist your controller over to this side and try and uh, get your thumb over this little um, joystick down here and press on both buttons this way or to rotate the controller the other way and try and use your thumb to press the buttons this way. Uh, and that obviously takes way too much time and is not uh, uh, a precise input whatsoever. So what do you do instead? Well, the way you want to hold um, your PlayStation 4 controller when you're playing Tekken is First of all, you're only holding the controller with the left hand. So I'm gripping the controller like I normally would with my left hand. I personally don't place my uh, fingers up here on the trigger buttons. I just hold it like that in a grip, but that's completely up to you whether or not you want to do that. But I think this probably has a little bit more precision because you're only gripping and really holding and lifting the controller up with your left hand. Your second hand, your right hand that is going to do all of the attacking in this game you are going to grab this part of the controller, this protrusion right here, with your thumb, your pinky, and your ring finger in this kind of way. And you're then going to place your uh, long finger, uh, or your middle finger, sorry, not your long finger, that's Swedish, <laughs> and your index finger, and place them on top of the controller in a claw grip like this. 
This allows you not only to have two points of contact because you're using two fingers instead of one, you also have twice the number of joints on each finger, meaning that you have four times the dexterity that you would have if you were only using your thumb. If I want to do a 1 plus 2 input in this way, I can simply press, uh, put, put both of my fingers on each of these buttons that I want to press and press down at the same time. Uh, and that's going to give me a very precise 1 plus 2 input every time. Um, also, another thing to mention is that in Tekken we have a lot of inputs that use buttons that are on opposite sides of this uh, sort of uh, cross configuration. For example, when I'm playing Miguel, I want to do forward plus uh, 2 plus 3, which is his charge move. If I'm gripping the controller properly, I can do this, and I'll get that input. If I want to use these two buttons, maybe I'm doing you know, a shoulder with uh, Lars, I can do this and get the input precisely. But if I'm using my thumb, I sort of have to try and get the thumb in between the two buttons that I don't want to press. Um, and try and get the input this way, which is very sloppy and not effective at all. So, you want to grip it like this. This is known as kind of like a claw grip. And... If you look it up online, there are actually uh, specialized, like customized uh, fighting game control pads uh, from the company Hori. Uh, maybe there are other companies that make them as well, but if you don't know, Hori is like this company that makes premium uh, arcade sticks for fighting game players. But they may also make fighting pad controllers that look like uh, the controller. The left side is pretty much the same as it is here, but on the right side, it doesn't have this protrusion whatsoever. This doesn't exist, and the controller just ends like that. Because you're not really using this, all you're doing is lifting the controller with the left hand and pressing uh, the buttons with these two fingers. So, that's what I'm going to recommend. I personally like to hold this protrusion with these three fingers down here, just to allow for a little bit more stability so that the controller doesn't wobble. And then I'm using these two fingers to press all my buttons. So that's going to be it for the PlayStation 4 controller. I hope that was informative. I mean, guys, I'm sorry that I didn't make this video earlier. If you are having a lot of trouble and you're trying to do all of your attack commands with your thumb and it wasn't working up until this point, I mean, dude, we've, we've found your problem. This does not, you can't do that. Like, it doesn't work. If you modify your grip and you can spend some time online playing and getting used to it, I promise you that your inputs are going to become so much more precise and you're going to do a lot better. So, uh, I hope that was informative. Now, if you happen to be an arcade stick player, uh, let's bring this guy over here. This is my small, small portable uh, uh, arcade stick. It is the Street Fighter V edition of the uh, Mad Cats Alpha 3, which is kind of like a nice, small, uh, comfortable uh, starter stick. And uh, to show you, I talked a little bit in my uh, stick versus pad video about how I like to grip the stick or how much, how most good players uh, grip the arcade stick when they play. But the thing is like, okay, so I use uh, uh, an arcade stick with a ball top like this, which is what, uh, you know, I think uh, by far the most people use. There are these sort of baton shaped stick as well, but I think what most people are going to be uh, using is this ball top. And they're gripped in almost exactly the same way. So, I try to rest the uh, ball of the controller sort of in this area uh, between my uh, ring finger and my little finger. Kind of like that. And then I sort of uh, lean and I gr like slide all of these fingers over and I grip the controller almost like this. And so the reason this is such a good grip is that it allows me to do all of these complex directional commands that I want to make uh, by moving my fingers in certain ways uh, that are going to mean like if I move my fingers in this specific way that I like to do, I'm going to get the input I want every time without worrying about the input being imprecise. So what I mean, for example, uh, the, like the most important input to get right when you're playing on an arcade stick is the down back input, and the reason for that is that you use it for uh, back dash cancelling, which is very important in this game. So the way I do that, I talked a little bit about how I do this kind of grip with my hand in my previous video, but what I can do is I can like uh, sl uh, sort of turn my hand into a fist like this and sort of grip down on the stick. And just by doing that uh, in the same angle, uh, I'm going to get the uh, down back input precisely every time. I can also uh, use the controller to push down like this to get my uh, down forward inputs. I can manipulate the position of my hand and again do the clenching of the fingers to get my down input. I personally like to uh, push the controller like this when I the rare occasions when I do an up input but I know some people actually change the grip and use the thumb for the up input as well that works and so uh, the back input is kind of important because as you can see when I'm holding the stick like this and I'm moving around my thumb is just kind of flying around out here not doing anything 
but your thumb needs to be in the mix because your thumb is going to be crucial when you want to do back inputs, which I do like this. Uh, I want to well, I want to get all my other fingers away from the stick and I just do this with my thumb to get precise back inputs. Again, this has to do with backdash cancelling. The way I do a backdash on the stick and the way most people do a backdash on the stick, mind you, I do the... Uh, there are two methods of doing Korean backdash cancelling on a stick. Uh, the quarter circle back version and the down back back version. This is very advanced and not something you have to worry about right now. If you're very interested, I will eventually make a tutorial on that as well. But for now, the way I do a back dash is I will grip the controller down like this to get my down uh, back input. I will let go and I will push back with my thumb. And I will start doing this, right? So back back and then this is how I, uh, I do a uh, back dash cancel on, on an arcade stick. So as you can see, the, the thumb needs to be in the mix. Most of the time when you're controlling the stick, you're leaving the ball right here. But it's okay to let go and just use like your fingers when you want to get these uh, precise inputs like that. But yeah, so this is just a basic way for how to grip the stick. So kind of in a way, on the control pad, the PS4 controller, the important thing is how are you using your hand to press your attack buttons, whereas on the stick, the directional controls are much more important. Because on the arcade stick, obviously, I'm just going to leave my hand around this area, and I'm going to use the same two fingers I used in my claw grip on my control pad to press my attack buttons. And if I want to, I know some people do, I do it very rarely, I can even put a third finger into the mix and I can do like inputs like this. Uh, sometimes, very rarely, there are inputs where you need to press three buttons simultaneously, and you can add a, a third finger into the mix to get that, but mainly these two fingers are your attack fingers, and obviously you move around using your left hand. So that's just a quick guide for how to grip your controller when playing Tekken 7. I hope it was informative. If you are a person who has been trying to manipulate the uh, attack buttons with your thumb up until this point, uh, I hope this was informative and I hope uh, you see a lot of improvement uh, when you change your grip um, after having watched this video. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, uh, I hope it was informative and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much and bye bye.